of be doing our typical format. We're going to be cutting down the number of rounds in our workout to three uh, instead of five. And we're going to stretch out at the end because the fires are still raging in Northern California. And I want to avoid having anyone having to breathe harder than they need to. All right. So we're going to do our warm up. And then we're going to go through our circuit. We're going to be doing uh, five exercises in that circuit. We have our squat jumps for seat, standing athletes, plyo push ups for seated athletes. We're going to be doing cobras, core exercises for all of you. We're going to be doing some side jumps for standing athletes, renegade road. We'll go over that one. It's been a while since we touched it for our seated athletes. We're going to be doing some uh, pulsed sit ups. Uh, straight up from Pilates move here for you. And then we're gonna be doing some plyo bridges for uh, those of us who can use our legs on the ground. And then we're gonna be doing some side plank rows for our seated athletes who are arms only. All right, and then we're gonna finish up with our stretch session at the end. Any questions before we get started? Is it the same amount of like time for all of these? Yeah, we're gonna be spending one minute at each station. On. So let's get to it then. If you're going to be working out primarily in standing, start in standing. If you're going to be working out primarily in sitting, start in sitting. For our seated athletes who feel comfortable working out on the ground, you can work out completely on the ground today. Uh, that is an option. But if you want to stay in the chair, we have options for you as well. So let's get warmed up. All right. Let's start with some side bends of your neck, gently tilting from one side to the other. And a nice gentle stretch. Work on easy breathing through your belly. And then start to take this side bend a little deeper, going all the way to the side. All the way to the other side. You're standing, you're sliding your arm down your legs. Wiggling it out. There we go. Easy breathing. Get that stretch. Next, we're gonna twist our head left and right. Gently turning as far as you can. And then start to twist even further. Make sure you start by turning your head and then turn everything else. You're looking over your shoulder as far as you can each way. If you're sitting, you're turning, twisting, turning, twisting. Each way. Keep twisting back and forth. All right. So next. For our standing act, or for everyone, we're going to be taking our arm up overhead. Standing athletes, you're going to do a little squat down as your arms come down to your side. Then stand up. Splay your fingers wide. Seated athletes, you're going to be hinging forward. Splaying your fingers. Big inhales. Keep it moving. Keep breathing. Work on big arcing motions. And then reverse those arm circles. Standing up, arms come up to the side, and then down the front. Squatting or hinging. Big arcing circles through your arms. Good. Next, we're going to do a little twist side to side. For our standing athletes, we're shifting your weight from one foot to the other. Good. And a nice little twist. Then we're going to go into a little crouch, squat, out, reach out to the side, crouch, squat. To the side. 
We're seated athletes, we're crouching down and reaching. Crouching down and reaching. Extend through those fingertips. There you go, take up as much space as you can. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, next we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Hop them in place, feet come apart and together as you hop. Arms are coming up to the sides, up overhead. If the hopping doesn't feel good, we're simply bringing our arms up overhead and quickly back down. Quick. Move, pick up the pace a little bit. Snapping arms down, up overhead, and by your side. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Next we're gonna go into some split jacks. Work on bringing the arms forward and back across your body, alternating the top part. Your feet are hopping in a split stance, alternating the front foot. If the hopping doesn't feel good, you're simply doing back slappers. Alternating your top arm. Big, large movements. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Next, we're gonna do a little running in place. You're gonna keep your elbow bent at this 90 degrees, pumping your arms. And then if you're standing, you're gonna pump your feet. Start that jog. For a seated athletes, you're just sitting in your chair, pumping your arms at this 90 degrees. There we go. Keep breathing. All right, so we're jogging right now. And next, we're gonna do three sprints. When you sprint, I want you to move as fast as you can. All right, so we're gonna sprint in five, four, three, two, one. Go, as fast as you can, pump your arms, move your feet, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and then jog. All right, keep the bend of your elbow at 90 degrees here the entire time. We're gonna do two more sprints. Next one's coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Go! Sprint as fast as you can. Pump your arms, move your feet. Get a movement. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one. And then jog. All right, last one. We're gonna get started in five, four, three, two, one. Go! Move those arms, move those feet as fast as you can. Move, 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 move. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So your heart rate should be up a little bit, breathing a little bit hard. Not too hard though. All right. How are you feeling? A little warmed up? All right, solid. So. Let's go into the practice rounds. We're gonna be going over our five exercises. First up is a squat jump for our standing athletes and plyo push-ups for our seated athletes. All right, so for the squat jump for our standing athletes, you're going to squat down and jump up. Squat and jump, squat and jump. Just like that. If you're really hardcore, you can take a backpack full of heavy things, squat, and jump for that. If you're up for that, if you need a little bit of support, a little bit of balance, you can hold on to an elevated surface, squat down, jump up. Use your hands as a little bit of an assist. If jumping is not in your wheelhouse, but you can still use your legs, you can simply do a squat, and heel raise, squat and heel raise. So you're squatting down and then coming up on your toes. Just like so. If you need further balance support, you can put your hands on a table, squat down, stand up on your toes. Squat down, stand up on your toes. Just like so. So, and then if you need even more, you put a chair behind you, squat down, stand up, go up on your toes. All right, for our seated athletes, 
doing plyo push-ups. Starting in the chair, you can roll up to an elevated surface, take your hands, lean as far as forward as you can without losing your balance, lower down, and push up quick, and move fast. This is the plyo push-up. You're moving fast as you push up off the table. For those of us who feel comfortable transferring to the ground, we're going to do our plyo push-ups starting from whatever position you can balance. Lower down, get your hands off the ground. Just like so, like that. Uh, if you need a little bit more support underneath you, you can take some kind of bolster. In this case, I have a backpack. You could use a couch cushion, uh, uh, a yoga bolster, anything really. Put that underneath you. And uh, that can help support you in your plyo push-up. All right, if you can't do those plyo push-ups, you can simply do regular push-ups, just not getting off the ground. All right. Make sure you find the version that's gonna work best for you. All right, did everyone find the squat jump variation or the plyo push-up variation that's gonna work for them? Can I see some thumbs up? All right, good. So next are cobras. This is a core exercise for your upper back. So let's show that one off. For those of us who are already on the ground, you're gonna stay there. For those of us who are standing, you're gonna get onto the ground. And then the cobra, you're lying on your stomach, and then you're gonna lift your chest up off the ground, hands come up, hold one, two, and then back down. Lift up, hold one, two, and back down. If that's a little bit too hard, you can give yourself a little bit of a hand assist. So keep your hands on the ground, lift up, hold one, two, and then back down. Lift up, hold one, two, and back down. If all this is too easy, now you can raise your arms over your head, lift up, hold one, two, and back down. So those are progressions from the ground. For those of us who are staying in the chairs for this workout, you're going to stay leaning up against the surface. Start with your chest on the table. And from here, lift up just a little bit and back down. Lift up and back down. If you need some hands support, keep your hands on the table. Lift up and then back down. Use only what you need to hold this position for two seconds and then lower back down. All right, did everyone get a chance to practice the Cobra variations? Did we all find a variation that works for us? Can I see some thumbs up? All right, let's go. Next one up is gonna be the side jumps for our standing athletes and renegade rows for our seated athletes. Side jumps for our standing athletes are gonna be hopping from one foot, whoop, this is a little bit slick. Be aware of your surface. I have a slip mat, so I'm not going to jump on that. I'm going to step from one, hop from one side to the other on hardwood floor. Good experiment there. So make sure you know if your mat is going to stick or slide on your floor. Hop from one side to the other. If the hopping doesn't feel good to you, what you're going to do is a big side step and up to the other side. Big side step and to the other side. And if you need some hand support, we're going to do that. Big side step to the other side, big side step to the other side. You can also pop from one side to the other with your hands on the table. So for those of you who are standing, play around with those variations. Seated athletes, for those of you who are in the chairs, our renegade row is essentially going to be a bent over supported row. You're going to be holding a book, supporting yourself with one arm, and pull to your hip, just like so. You're gonna do that for 30 seconds and then switch sides. For the, our seated athletes who are on the ground, you take whatever weight you have. So I got some light books here. It could be dumbbells, it could be anything really. And you're gonna start in a quadruped or equivalent position. And you're gonna pull that weight to your hip. 
So if you need a little bit more support, you can take that bolster, put it underneath you, prop yourself up, and then from there, pull to your hip, working on engaging much more of your core with the rowing motion. All right. All right, how are we doing? Do we get a chance to practice the side hops or the renegade rows? Did we find a variation that's gonna work for us? Can I see thumbs up if you did? Does anyone need a different variation for these? We doing good? Okay. So next up, I need the pull sit-ups. For our standing athletes, you're gonna come back onto the ground. Uh, we're going to see that we're on the ground, we'll stay there the whole time. And what we're going to do for our standing athletes, you can have your legs bent or straight. Seated athletes, you're probably going to have your legs straight. And we're going to curl your head and your shoulders off the ground. And we're going to do 10 pulses here with your arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down, breathe for a little bit, and then come right back up. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's for everyone who's on the ground. For those of us who are staying in a chair, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scoop forward in your chair, lean back as far as you can, and then lift just enough off the back of the rest of the chair, and then pulse your arms up and down for ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then rest. Now, one thing you might notice, the harder you pulse your arms, the harder this will be. So you can control the intensity. If you're doing nice and gentle pulses, they'll be more gentle. Pulsing hard, you're gonna engage much more of your abdominal effort. So that's how you can modify the intensity here. All right? Did everyone find a version of the sit up with the pulse that works for them? Yeah? All right. Let's keep going. Last one is going to be the plyo bridge for our standing athletes and everyone else, uh, who has use of their legs. And then for our side, and then side plank rows for our other seated athletes. All right. So that plyo bridge, you're going to be lying on the ground. Legs start bent, and then from here, we're gonna bridge up, get off the ground, catch yourself with your feet, pop yourself up, get a little bit of air. If you're feeling pretty strong, you can try this single leg, alternate the single leg. All right, and if you're feeling really ambitious, you can take a oh, weight, put it on your hips. Oh my God. Oh. If you're ambitious enough for that. Um, for our seated athletes, what I'm going to have you do is a side plank row. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one of our lighter weights. You're going to roll onto one side, support yourself however you need. And then from here, we're going to bring that weight up as high as you can and then back down. And you're keeping good pressure on that stance arm. You're not just slouching into it. We're engaged the entire time and pull on up. So depending on how much support you need, you can place a bolster underneath you. The higher up the bolster is, the easier this will be. As you pull to your hip, you can lower, bring this lower down, and this is going to start getting a little bit harder, forcing you to use more of your core. For those of us who are still in the wheelchair, you're gonna roll up to your surface to the side, figure out how far you can lean and still support yourself under control. Stay engaged with this arm, don't slouch. Stay engaged, push into the table. Start with the book to your side and then pull all the way up, going across your body. And then we'll switch halfway through. So make sure you practice both sides. Make sure it feels good to you. All right. Did we get a chance to practice 
those plyo bridges or those side plank rows. Any questions? Anyone need any modifications for these exercises? All right, then let's get to it, you guys. We'll be doing three rounds of this circuit and then finish off with a stretching session. All right, so uh, I know it's smoky in certain parts of the Bay Area and there's a lot of people here who are from the Bay Area. So be aware of how you feel. If you feel lightheaded or you feel like you need to slow down, please slow down, just focus on your breathing. And we're not trying to set personal records, we're just trying to move well for now. And we'll set the PRs in like a couple weeks. All right, so let's get started. So standing athletes, you're gonna be doing squat jumps. Seated athletes, you're gonna be doing the plyo push-ups. Let me pull up my stopwatch. Get ready, get in position. That's not my stopwatch. Here's my stopwatch. All right. So whatever version you're working on, whether it be a squat jump or the plyo push-up, let's get started in five, four, three, two, one, go. We're doing squat jump. Jump me up. Land in control. Seated athletes, you're doing either plyo push-ups from the chair. or on the ground. Keep going, keep moving. Make sure you get some air time. If you uh, don't feel comfortable getting the air time, you can simply do the non-jumping version. Squatting down, heel raise up. Squat down, heel raise up. Or standard push-ups. Keep it going, keep breathing. We got less than 15 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Keep it up, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Next are the Cobras. So if you're on the ground, lie on your stomach, lift up, hold one, two, back down. Lift your chest up off the ground, hold one, two, back down. If you're feeling like challenging yourself, bring your arms in front, up, hold one, two, and then back down. Keep going, keep moving. If you're in the chair still, you're leaning up against the table, chest starts on the table, and then you lift your chest up off the table, hold one, two, and then back down. Up, hold one, two, and then back down. Keep moving. All right, let's keep it going, keep breathing. Whatever version works for you. Work on lift, hold, lift, hold. Lift, hold one, two. If you take one full breath at the top, that's two seconds. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Next are side jumps for our standing athletes. Popping from one side to the other. Renegade rows for our seated athletes. All right, so we're going to lean forward, pull that weight all the way up. For the renegade rows, if you're in a chair, if you're on hands and knees, you're pulling all the way to your hip as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch if you're doing the renegade rows. If you're doing the side hops, keep going. There you go. Keep moving. Keep breathing. Get that squeeze. Stay stable. All right. 15 seconds left. Keep going. Good, 10 seconds. Get a few more reps in. Four, three, two, one. Pulse sit-ups. So, let's get set. If you're in a chair, you're gonna scoot to the front of your chair, lean back, and then you're gonna pick yourself up off the backrest of your chair and pulse your arms for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then rest, and then pop back up, and then keep going. Good. Peel up, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then down, come back up, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, and go, up, pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, done, plyo bridges, or side, side plank rows, so if you're doing plyo bridges, pop yourself up, hit yourself with your feet, whether you're doing a double leg or single leg version. All right, keep going, keep moving. For those of us doing the side plank rows, setting up on your side, however you need to, and then pulling all the way up. You're gonna weight across your body and all the way up. Keep yourself well engaged with your stance arm. Don't get lazy here. Push all the way through. Switch sides. All right. Keep going if you're doing the bridges. And pull. Keep going. Keep moving. Stay stable. Keep breathing. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right. Good job, you guys. All right. How was round one? Hola. Hola. Eh, ¿Se habla español? Poco, sí. ¿Cómo puedo hacer para que mis, mis, un ejercicio para que mis piernas se junten así? Uh, no sé. Uh, no sé. Alex. Alex, do you have any tips for Erasmo? I don't know if he can hear me. Oh, he's muted. Alex, you're muted. Alex. Uh, that's, he's muted, so we can't hear him. Uh, Erasmo, do what you, whatever you need to do uh, to control your legs. Yeah, para hacer, yeah, this is the, my, my ex, no, no control. Yeah, do whatever you need. Uh, if you, Quiero como una, como decir uh, algo que me ayude a hacer músculos para juntar mis pies así. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it, Erasmo. No. All right. How are the transitions for everyone else? Ah, uh, good. Okay, good. Does anyone need more time for certain transitions? Oh, I or personally, I felt like the the what was it the the one where your hip like where you have to raise your hips was kind of hard for me. Bridges. Yeah, the bridges are kind of hard. All right. Well, that's good. I like hard. <laughs> Why not? Oh, there you go. He's not now. That's no What's up? Sense. Okay. What's up? Hola. Can you hear me? Can I speak Spanish? ¿Me escuchas? Sí. sí. Eh, sí, lo escucho. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, Alex and Erasmo, can All you right. uh, continue your conversation in the chat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started with our second round. Okay. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. So, who's ready for round two? Let's go. Hey. Let's, Let's start with those squat jumps and the plyo push-ups. Let's get to it. Where's my timer? There it is. You guys start in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Work your squat jumps. Or your plyo push-ups. For our seated athletes. All right. Whether you're on the floor or in the chair, pop it up. Keep moving. Get a few more reps in. Remember, you can always take a regression. Squat down, heel raise up. Squat down, heel raise up. Keep going. Keep breathing. All right, got 20 seconds left to just get some more reps in. 
however you need to do it. If you need to slow it down, if you need to take it an easier version, that's okay. All right, 10 seconds left. Get some more reps in. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Done, Cobras. All right, get set up on the ground. Lift up, hold, one, two. Take a full inhale, exhale, and then back down. Up, full inhale, exhale, back down. Keep going. If you can challenge yourself by reaching up overhead, do that. Keep moving. If you need that hand support, use the hand support. All right. Keep it up. Keep moving. All right. Push up. Hold one, two. And then back down. Lift up. Hold one, two. Back down. Keep breathing. Take a full inhale and exhale at the top. All righty. How are we doing? Keep going. What's good, you guys? 10 seconds left. Keep it up, keep moving. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Side jumps for our standing athletes, renegade rows for our seated athletes. Hop into the side. For our standing athletes, seated athletes in the chair, working one side at a time with those rows. Pull all the way up to your hip. Stay stable and strong as you pull. You're on the ground working the renegade row. Whatever quadruped variation you're in, pull. You can alternate sides. Stay stable, stay balanced. If you're working one side, switch sides. All right, keep going, keep breathing. Keep a steady work rate. Let's go, let's breathe. All right, 10 seconds left. Get a few more reps in. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse sit-ups. Roll onto your back. Curl up and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then come back, down, and then up. Pulse as hard as you can. Good, down, and then up, pulse. Keep it going. Keep peeling yourself up, pulse hard, make your abs work. And then down, keep going, keep breathing. Whatever version you're working on, whether you're on the ground or in a chair, lean forward, and then pulse. Good, one more. Feel up and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Transition to those plyo bridges or those side plank rows. If you're setting up for those side plank rows, coming onto your side, propping up on your dip bottom shoulder, stay engaged, grab your weight, and pull that weight all the way up to your hip. Keep it going. Keep breathing, you should feel a squeeze in your upper back, behind your shoulder if you're doing those rows. For those of us doing the plyo bridges, get your hips and feet off the ground. Switch sides if you're doing the side plank rows. All right, keep going. Keep moving. Keep breathing, get some more reps in. Good. 10 seconds left. Almost there. Keep, stay strong. Keep your stance arms. Stay propped up. Use those shoulder muscles. Three, two, one. Done. All right. And unmute. All right. How are you guys doing? Fabulous. All right. Ian's fabulous, as always. If only I could reach my water. <laughs> Definitely get some water if you have it available to you. Stay uh, can't get up. I'm stuck. I guess some, some are suffering. All right. Well, take it easy with yourself. If you're having any issues with breathing at all, be kind to yourself. Take it a little bit slow if you need to. 
Take your breath. Stay hydrated. Got so sweaty, my leg popped off. What? <laughs> sweaty, my leg popped off. My prosthesis. Oh, your prosthesis popped off. Oh, that's funny. Wow. Rachel, the first oh, nice. So, Rachel, I think you've won an award there. <laughs> the greatest leg popper. How does should I say that? Mm -hmm. All righty. So, how um, much more time here? We got 10 seconds left of this break. So, get your last swig of water. Let's get in position for our third round here. All right, let's get started in five, four. Final three, round. Two, Finish them. Yeah. All right, get to it. Working those squat jumps for our standing athletes, mile push-ups for our se seated athletes. Let's move. Let's go. Let's move. Let's go. Let's move. Working those mile push-ups. Get off the ground. Working those squat jumps. Get some air time. Let's go. Remember, if you need to take a regression, that is totally okay. If you need to just do squats with heel raises, that is fine. If you need to just do regular push-ups, that is fine as well. Work whatever you need to for this last round. Good. Keep going. Keep breathing. 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Cobras. So, lie down on the ground or lean out against the table. And then lift your torso up. Hold. One, two. And then back down. Lift up. Take a full inhale and exhale. And back down. Lift up. And down. Keep breathing. Lean out. Hold. One, two. Back down. Up. Breathe. Keep going. Keep breathing. Almost there, you guys. Good. Three, two, one. Done. Transition to the side jumps or renegade rows. All right. If you're doing the renegade rows and seated, you're just going to do one side at a time. Pull that weight to your hip. Keep pulling to your hip. Get that squeeze in the back of your shoulder. For those of us doing the Side hops, just going from one side to the other. Maybe with or without weights. If you're doing the renegade rows on one side, switch sides now. If you're alternating with the renegade rows, keep going. Keep moving. All right. Keep a steady breath, steady rhythm. Get that squeeze. Let's move. Let's go. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse sit-ups. All right, get in position, curl up, and pulse your arms for 10, four, three, two, all right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then down, come on up, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Make sure you're breathing the entire time. Working that curl up and then pulse in that mid range. And then down. And then back up and pulse. Let's go. Let's move your arms quick up and down. The oscillations will stimulate your abdominal muscles. Keep going. One more. Up and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Transition over to those side plank rows or plyo bridges. Sit up on your side, you're setting up for those side plank rows. Be engaged your stance arm and pull that weight across your body towards your hip. Good. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Lean out to the side. And pull across your body. Keep going. Keep breathing. Stay engaged with your stance arm. Switch sides. If you're doing the plyo bridges. Keep going. 
Let's go. Let's move. Keep it up. Get a few more reps in here. We're almost done. Five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, good work. All right, how are people feeling right now? All right, good, Summer came back to life. Super lightheaded. Okay, oh, okay, yeah, slow it down then. Get your water. Catch your breath. I see Alex is working hard on the floor. I like it. Good job. All right, so we're going to finish up this session with a stretch sesh. So we got separate things for our, our standing athletes for, and for our seated athletes because you guys were working in different muscle groups today. So just follow along with the stretches and catch your breath. I need to catch my breath. Big inhales. Slow exhales. I noticed when I was doing the pulsing, like my chest started hurting for no reason. I was just like, what the heck? You're getting tight on you? I guess. I'm young, so I don't know why that's happening. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I have a bunch of theories like why that could be happening. But um, it goes away, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably fine. All righty. So. Let's start with our stretch sesh. Uh, for those of us who are on the ground, you can stay on the ground. Uh, <laughs> in the chair, you're gonna stay in the chair. For those of us in standing, we're gonna be stretching and standing. Or, actually no, we're gonna stretch on the ground today. So, let's get started. <sighs> what we're gonna do is stretch out our hip flexors for our standing athletes. Let's meet you guys here. So standing athletes, we're gonna come onto one knee, preferably have something padded underneath you. What I want you to do is to gently rock your hips forward and back, stretching out the front of your hip here. For our seated athletes on the ground, we're gonna work on stretching out our pecs. So we're gonna take our right arm out to the side, Take your uh, left hand, put it right by your ribs, and then roll to the side to open up the pecs and the biceps, going back and forth. Just like so. Pushing up, peel off the ground. For those of us in a chair, you're going to lean up against the table. Your chest will start on the table. I'm taking my right arm, putting it out to the side, putting my left hand right on my chest, and then peeling up off the table to stretch out the pecs and biceps. Gentle rocking, breathe, and work into these stretches. Nice and easeful movement. There you go, open it up. All right. Take a few more moments to get some more uh, pulses in that stretch. And then let's switch sides. So standing athletes, if you have your right leg down, your left leg will now be down, your right leg will be up, and pulse forward and back. Right in that position. See it athletes, if you're on the ground, if your right arm was out being stretched, now your left arm is out being stretched. Right hand is by your chest, and peel off the ground. Get that little stretch. There we go. Keep going. Easy rhythm. All right. Take some more time. Easeful breaths. All right. Stretch it out. All right. Good. Take a few more deep inhales and exhales as you're peeling yourself off the ground or rocking your hips forward. All right, next up is going to be a figure four stretch for our seat standing athletes and a posterior cuff stretch for our seated athletes. So for those of us who have been standing, you're gonna be on the 
come down to the ground. You're gonna bring your leg across, one leg across, forward with a figure four. You're gonna try to pull your knee towards your opposite shoulder and gently work on hugging your knee to your shoulder and then release it. Hug and then release. Hug and then release. For our seated athletes, you're going to bring your arm across your body, grab at your elbow and then pull across and then release. Pull across and then release. Get that gentle stretch for your hips or your shoulder. There you go. Good, and then let's switch sides. Pulling opposite knee, or knee to opposite shoulder. Bring it in and out, hugging and releasing, hugging. And releasing. Oh, I feel this one. I really need this one today. And then pulling your arm across your body, grab at your elbow, and release. Pull, release. Pull, release. Easy rhythm here. All right. Next, we're gonna go into a hamstring stretch. For our standing athletes, you're gonna lie on your back, lift, raise one leg up, grab at the back of your lip, knee, pull a little bit, and lower back down. Lift, raise the leg up, pull up the back of your knee, and lower back down. Make sure you do this very gently. The objective is not to do the splits. The objective is to just get a little bit of a stretch in the back of your leg. A gentle stretch. For our standing, our seated athletes, we're gonna be doing a bicep stretch. So we're gonna have you lie down and then work on propping yourself up here and then work on pushing your chest forward and then really relax. Push your chest forward and relax. You should feel a stretch coming through both of your biceps here. And you pop your chest forward and then relax. Pop the chest forward and relax. Open up those biceps. All right. Good. Easeful stretches. Make sure that when you're doing the bicep stretch, your palms should point, your fingers should point behind you. Ideally. You should feel a stretch across the front of your arms. All right. Good. Almost there, you guys. We got one more to go. Take a few more breaths in this position. And then relax. For our standing athletes, we're gonna be doing a cap stretch. We're going to come into a plank position, then going into a down dog on one foot, and then work on lifting up and then back down, pulsing up and down. If going on one leg is too intense, you can go double leg. All right, and then for our seated athletes, coming into hands and knees position, I want you to rock forward and back over your wrists, fingers wide. And again, if you need a little bit of hand support here, you can always put a bolster underneath you. And then work on rocking yourself forward and back to get that stretch in your forearms here, those wrist flexors. There you go. And if that variation isn't working well for you, another one that we can do is to turn our palms outwards. And then from there, rock side to side, stretch those wrist flexors. So some variations here if the first version, rocking forward and back, doesn't work for you. There you go. Keep working those calf stretches. Keep working those wrist stretches. All right. And ease on up. You guys are all done for today. Woo. Good job, you guys.
I think I'm gonna lay here for a minute. Or You're so. Hey there, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Brent. You're very welcome. I'm glad you guys tuned in. Fabulous, uh, fabulous show. Is that the prosthesis that popped off? <laughs> All right. Isn't that thing so heavy? Is uh, it heavy? I love it. So, does anyone have any questions on the workout we did today? No? All right. Well, I hope you guys are getting a little stretched and rejuvenated after that stretch sesh. Um, I hope you put, were able to push it a little bit hard on the circuit. Uh, we're going to continue doing the stretch, stretches at the end of the workouts this week because knowing how the smoke's going to go, probably going to keep getting worse in certain areas. We're going to keep it a little bit lighter for this week and the next week, and then we'll ramp it up in the weeks afterwards. Uh, hopefully by then the fires are under control and we don't have to worry as much about breathing hard. All right. Very good. That's good. Thank you. Okay, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Thank you.